Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Even, even if it's a right kind of anger, but especially if it's a wrong kind of anger, if you let anger at a person, at an issue, cook, boil, like a, like a you know, fixing a pot of stew. You, you, you cut the potatoes up, cut the carrots up, cut the meat up, put it in, that, in the, what's going to be the broth, turn the stove up, and, and it just sits there, and it just cooks for a while. That, that's the word for anger here. It, 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 it's not the kind that comes and goes. This is the kind of anger that just, just has found a home in your heart, a resentment towards somebody or something. Do not give the devil a place. A place where in your heart, a place within you don't you, he can't take it, but you can give it to him. You can hand him a place in your heart, in your life, from which he can begin to operate. Now, now isn't that some so all this? Well, the devil can't harass, the devil can because I'm a Christian. Well, what does Paul say? Paul says the devil can't take something, but you can give it to him. So no matter who it is, you know, or what they've done or what the situation is, and I get real concerned with folks just getting to talk to them and their whole countenance has changed whenever the subject of the United States of America comes up. There's just this cloud that descends and, and names come up and, and, and issues come up. Well, we're supposed to take a stand. We're supposed to read the issues. We're supposed to let the light shine in on that thing. But nowhere do are we given permission to let an anger and a resentment and a negativeness and a heaviness about the sorry state that our country may be in or anything else to rule over us. That's why angry people, when the devil recognizes anger, he is prone to see if he can tap into that and take it from the realm of just human anger to supernaturally driven anger. Christians, Christians, turn your anger over to the Lord. Give it to, it doesn't mean that what was done to you was necessarily all, it all, all of a sudden becomes fine and right and not that bad. It, it may have been worse than you ever imagined. God saw it all. But what he's saying to us, you trust me. You hand over to me. You give to me the ones who have offended you, the ones who have hurt you. You give to me the situations that came against you. You turn that over to me, and here's what I'm able to do. I'm able to swap your anger, swap your anger for my peace. I'm able to put my peace in your heart because you will understand that vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will repay. He never shares his glory, and he never shares his wrath. And we as his people have the opportunity. And many times, some of us would say, well, I've been all my life turning stuff over this happening. But, well, that's, but that's a great exercise. Lord, I give it to you. Every time it comes up, every time the face comes up, every time the situation comes up, Lord, I give it to you because I don't want to give the devil a place.